just here for Mental Crash Entertainment, and I'm in a booth at Hartford Comic Con. It looks interesting, as you see. And right now, I'm about to introduce you the, to the guy that's in charge of this booth that has A-L-E-X associated with it. Hi, I'm, I'm Jeremy. This is my company, uh, Art and Learning Expedition, and this is Alex Studios Presents Mania. And this is our first uh, issue. It's called The Shift, as you can see here. Um, and it's a comic book in which uh, superpowers arise from mental illness. And can you tell me what type of mental illness is associated with this comic book? Uh, yeah, so we have uh, four characters so far. Uh, the one on the cover, his name is Jumpstart, um, and I'm actually wearing his shirt right now. He gets his powers from his depression. And then he's also facing a villain in the issue. Uh, her name is Midna, and she gets her powers from her narcissism. And the really cool thing in this issue is she's doing a bank robbery, and she live streams her bank robbery to her fans because she loves the attention. Just by what you said, is the plot based on what she's doing right now? What she's doing uh, has a lot to do with the plot uh, about what's happening in the long term of the story. Uh, she's attempting to steal something that is really important to who she's stealing it for. Now, can you tell me about a specific character that is complex? Yeah. So, um, the whole city uh, is run by artificial intelligence, so that's a huge theme of the story. And um, with this artificial intelligence, a lot of people are relying on it, and it's actually uh, suppressing uh, their emotional states. And so these characters that have atypical uh, neurodivergent minds, uh, they actually break this technology in the city, and that's what gives them their superpower based off their mental illness. And so the character that is going to be like assembling a team to try to take down this corporate uh, control and uh, order, trying to keep the order, is this character named Alex, uh, who is a 12-year-old hybrid uh, man-machine uh, born of an artificial fetus, and uh, he's a little shy, so he will only show up a little occasionally over the first six issues. We'll learn more about him as it goes, and uh, he uh, is going to start putting to get together and try to uh, gather these supermanics to try to take down this uh, corporate uh, evilness. What is the inspiration? Because judging by this comic, there has to be such an impactful inspiration that made you want to make this type of comic, because... There's a lot of comics that has no relation to this. This is very unique to me. Yeah. So can you tell me the inspiration that came to you? Yeah, no, I, I definitely think that we this is really unique, and I, I really lo I love that it is, because uh, in the deeper aspects of the art and why I'm making this, because I'm working with a brilliant team. Uh, I'm just the, the director. I brought the concept, and they helped me flush it out to what you see here. Um, it really is to try to share the message that the things that we consider negative about ourselves, our weaknesses, the, the negative stigmas of, of whatever we like feel about ourselves can be empowered and, and turned around to become positives. And that's what I want to share, that our weaknesses can become our strengths um, and that uh, I want to share that message, but through an entertaining um, vehicle of uh, comic book. What well, social media sites are you associated with that you want the viewers that seen this interview right now to follow. Cool. Yeah, uh, so um, maniacomic.com, first of all, so you could go check out the issue, digital, physical, available. Issue 2 comes out October 1st. And then um, we are also on facebook.com slash mania franchise, and then at Art and Learning Expedition on Instagram. Thank you for, so much for this interview. The comment looks great. I hope it goes well. I hope we get to see more comics from you and your team in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks for interviewing me. This is a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is JCO from Mental Crash Entertainment. Over and out.